De Villiers says when he became the preferred candidate for the Zimbabwe position, somebody from Zimbabwe rugby phoned him with news that shocked him. And they said to me, hey, it's a problem now. They said, rugby called us and said that you are blacklisted, they can't appoint you. Well, I called somebody in South African rugby who was the president then and asked him where does it come from and he said he doesn't know about it. It was never discussed and those kind of, those kind of things. But um, if, if that's why we, we, we've got our government, we've got our laws in the country, and we get laws like black, blacklisted law, and then we get rugby and church and school, and everybody has their own laws of blacklisting people the way they want to do it. Um, and when you find out about it, it's sometimes too late in your life, you know. But, um, but I'm so glad that I'm, that I'm blacklisted. I'm really glad. It, it, it gave me that, that comfort that I'm not welcome in my, in my country. The South African Rugby Union responded by saying the allegations are completely untrue and instead congratulated De Villiers on his appointment as Zimbabwe coach. De Villiers went on to question the competence of the current SA Rugby management team. If, you're, if your boss played second team for Martis, and we all know that if you play second team for Martis, you're actually in the fifth team of the union. And you've been a guy who, who followed rugby and, and, and Springbok is your pinnacle. Just to be there amongst them is already great for you. You know you will never earn a rugby jersey at any level because you're playing fifth team for. So now let's do the second best thing. Let's get close to the team. Now, now if, if I don't have that knowledge of the game, how can I, what gives me the right to tell my worker, my coach, you are doing wrong here, yeah, why don't you try that? De Villiers feels he's not wanted in South African rugby and says one of the first things he'll do is to learn the Zimbabwean national anthem to repay them for the loyalty they showed. Harry Willifir, SABC News, Johannesburg.